Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth, Jeff DeLoach, Bible Teaching with Jeff DeLoach. Word of Truth Channel with J.D. Nigel. All praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, bless your lovely Masha people, the people who follow you, the people who love you, the people that understand your word and try every day to eat the bread of your table so to be reconciled back to you through the family of Jesus Christ and the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, yo, yo, yo. You guys getting a lot of glare? Let me see if I can help you out. Oh my gosh. It's blowing like a son of a gun out there. Ah! I'm gonna smash my finger right now. Cool. Ow! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I'm such a dork. I don't think I can do it. The wind's killing me. Oh well. Let's see. Just stuff it in there. There we go. Right on. Thanks for your patience. Okay. So we're talking about, of course, Israel, the chosen, the chosen people of the Most High. <laughs> chosen for what? Um. So Jeremiah gets thrown in prison. Jeremiah gets kicked to the curb. Jeremiah gets spit on, talked bad about. puppeted and he's he's just about had it he's saying to the people and to the Lord what then I said I will not this is Jeremiah 20 and 9 so the prophet <clears throat> the reason I am the way I am that's how you know I'm Israel <laughs> shit Tony Baloney. Yeah, I know he's talking about me. Yeah, and there's these men who are speaking the word of God out of one side of their mouth and cursing up a storm on the other side of their mouth. These guys, these these guys. Fuck you, Tony. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. Sorry. <laughs> can't I can't help it. Um then I said, I will not make mention of him nor speak any more in his name. But his word, word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones and I was weary with the forbearing and I could not stay. See what it says about stay. I could not endure it. In Zechariah, there's a section in Zechariah about... <clears throat> The four crowns of the high priest. And these crowns represent chief Israelites. And I'm not, I haven't completely figured this one out yet. These are, these are things that people are like, the four crowns of the high priest, I've never heard about that. Of course you have it. Because no one even bothers because they're like, all right, all right, all right. But I looked up the meaning of these names, of these four crowns, these four dudes. And um, I used to be able to name them all off. One is for, one name meant for availability. Um, the last one is Josiah, that's for grace. Availability, endurance, one of the guys, one of the crowns is endurance. You get a crown, I get a crown, I get a little jewel on one side for my endurance. So these crowns are um, 
different rewards for being available. Being available, endurance, there's one I always forget, I can't remember. And Grace is Han or Zephaniah. Anyway, um, but endurance, that's why it says I can't endure. And so part of what the Lord has given his chief men, his servants, his chief servants, his temple guards, his singers, porters, the ones that are, they're available, they have endurance, and God, and yet, if only I had a memory. So he couldn't endure, for I heard the defaming of many, fear on every side, report say they, and we will report it. All my familiars watched for my halting, saying, Preadventure he will be enticed, and we will prevail against him, and we shall take our revenge on him. So even though right now I'm not getting puppeted, it's just us and him. Us and him. There's no I'm so in a zone right now. He has me Man, when that shit starts coming against me, it's going to be, that's what that's saying, pre-adventure. Man, we just have to bide our time. Fate will catch up with this J.D. Nyjah fucker. And there, believe me, there's people out there that don't have the nerve to stand up right now, but they're, they have some schemes and plots and they're just going, if we just keep thinking bad thoughts about him, fate will catch up with that fucker. And they're, they're right. They're, unless the Lord, I mean, whatever he does, he does. But never been known to fail, so we'll see. See what I'm saying about plotting, though? They're like, we'll just wait, bide our time. This, guy, this guy's going to fall. So the main scripture is over in 17. Um, <laughs> persecutors will not prevail. So this is what I was saying. Never been known to fail, but the Lord is with me as a mighty, terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed for they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. And see, when you, when you do grand, grand things for the Lord and great things and you're loyal and you're honest to your people and you're strong and you're, you take the hits, that lasts forever too but these motherfuckers these liars these dumbasses that are just yeah let me tell you blah 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 uh, throw up on yourself that shit's not gonna go away that's gonna stick and that's why I try and tell these guys are you out? did you bump your fucking head Tony dude their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. But Lord of hosts that tries the righteous, try, tries the righteous, why, is the, why are you and me, why are the people of the Most High? <laughs> vibrating so high that we're... Because he's putting the screws to us. But it's for our own good. That's why we just take it. Um, but, O Lord of hosts, that tries the righteous and sees the reins and the heart, let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee I have opened my cause. So when you hear me saying, these motherfuckers, prick, m lying fuckers, part of my job people I don't like him I don't like him I'm sorry I try I try and I don't want Tony to, to go out there deceiving people and I don't want him to be destroyed and ashamed he's gonna be a monument to shame 
because he wouldn't listen. I have a purpose and a cause. That's what that's what Jeremiah is saying. You know what? I can give a fuck if you don't like my cussing, Tony. You know what I don't like? Your stupid ass theology and your arrogance and your pride. I hate it, Tony. That's more disgusting than any word that could come out of my mouth. You're blaspheming my God, you prick. You're going to pay for it, Tony. I'm telling you. Sing unto the Lord. Sing. I'm not going to shut up. I got I to... Gotta, I got to keep singing every day. I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm just hurt. I'm singing unto the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. He has delivered the soul of the poor from the hand of the evildoers. Um, cursed be the day. This is Jeremiah. Cursed be the day that I was born. Man, whenever she calls, it gets me anxious. Melanie, baby, ouch. So we're talking Jeremiah's, we're talking about Jeremiah. So Jeremiah, if you don't know, he was called the weeping prophet. So windy out there. He was called the weeping prophet. Why? It's fucking sad, man. The prophet, the seer, the man of the Lord that has the ability to see, we have vision, we can see through we see things different. When you see the truth in a world full of lies, it's very hurtful. Um, cursed be the day. Cursed be the day. Fuck, I wish I was never bored. Cursed, cursed, cussed, cursed. Bitch. Cursed be the day wherein I was born. Let not the day wherein my mother bear me be blessed. Does it sound like he's happy? There's no blessing behind me. <laughs> the only blessing behind me is that if you can put up with the cursing and be on my side you'll feel the pain but then in the end you'll be delivered um, and let that man be as the cities which the Lord overthrew and repented not and let him hear the cry in the morning and the shouting at noontide anyone know what that Cry in the morning and shouting at noontide. Do you, do you understand what Jeremiah is referencing right there? We've gone over this 3,428 times, I think. So Jeremiah was of my tribe. He's a Benjamite. And so when he says that, he's talking about his blessing from his father Jacob. Jacob called us a ravenous wolf. Do you think a ravenous wolf is going to sit back and go, Hi, believers. This is J.D. Niger. What a beautiful day. This is the day the Lord met. Let's be rejoice and be glad in it. No. That's not how we roll. I'm sorry. That's just not how we roll. Well, I'm Israel. I'm not, I'm not some fucking heathen Gentile fucking prick trying to tell you about the Lord Jesus Christ is all love and we're going to do kumbaya and rapture's coming soon. He cries in the morning and the shouting at noontime. 
and we bring home the spoil in the evening. That's at the end. At the end, victory! Because he slew me not from the womb, or that my mother might have been my grave, and her womb to be always great with me. The matrix, the, the womb is, they call it the matrix in the Bible. That's where they get that word. Matrix, we come in through the womb. It's a, it's a, it's like a corkscrew. The way the, um, what do they call it? The vagina, <laughs> the inner part of the vagina where the baby comes through, the birth canal. It's a spinning, it's like, so you, you get spun out it into this world again. You come into the ma into this matrix here. So, if you reference back the womb, and the matrix, and the grave, and this sorrow, when Benjamin was born, I'm gonna keep saying it because you, you people need to know who who's your who's your daddy here. When when my tribe was born, Rachel died, and she named Benjamin "son of my sorrow." Why do you think I yell and scream so much? Because I don't want to cry. I know you guys would probably rather have me cry than yell because I know yelling and screaming isn't very attractive, but um, and her womb be to be always great with me. See, there's something deep going on about Rachel dying, the sorrow, the birth pangs of prophecy. I mean, I can say it with words. But there's something else in my spirit that I haven't been able to verbalize. I haven't been able to process it in a way that I can, I don't know. It's, that's, that's where the mysteries come in. I got 100% truth according to the Bible, these GMS dudes say. Are you out of your, did you bump your head, Tahar, Gabar? I've been given a shitload of information and I'm not even close to having 20%. So these guys are not Israel because they're liars. Um, wherefore came I forth out of the womb to see labor and sorrow. Why? Because he's a Benjamite. He is, Rachel named him son of my sorrow. So what do we do? We, we labor. That's why I do all these videos. I can't not do it. I've always done it. That's what I do. I labor for the Lord. Believe me, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. This isn't a job for just anyone, folks. Wherefore I came, wherefore came I forth out of the womb to see, to see, to understand, to see, to understand labor and sorrow. And that's what this, these lessons are about right now. Give me a break. Give me a break, please. It's been, it's been a long, long, cold winter for this boy. That my days should be consumed with shame. Wherefore, I came forth out of the womb to see labor and sorrow, that my days should be consumed with shame. Are you kidding me? I'm the top of the food chain and I still have to hold my head down? Who, what am, why, why am I ashamed? Why am I ashamed? Why aren't these idiots ashamed? Tony, why aren't you ashamed of yourself? You don't even know what you should be ashamed of. Um, okay, let's go to uh, Jonah. Jonah. Jonah was a good example of... Um, Angry ass Israelite. My Bible's falling apart. 
I get into it so much. Um, Jonah's anger. Jonah's anger. And it displeased Jonah exceedingly, and he was very angry. And he prayed unto the Lord and said, I pray thee, O Lord, was not this my saying when I was yet in my country? Wherefore I fled before into Tarshish, for I knew that thou art a gracious, gracious God, grace, Tony, undeserved favor. I knew, I knew you were going to let these Ninevites off the hook. I knew it. And that's what I'm trying to tell Tony. Dude, I know my Lord, bro. Stop with your nonsense, buddy. Gracious. Jonah's going, I'm pissed. Not only are you gracious, there you have these idiots out here talking about you in a way that's not very gracious. Sorry. Ay, ay, ay. For I knew that thou art a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Loving kindness, there's that same theme. And repentest thee of the evil. Therefore now, O Lord, take, I beseech thee, my life from me. For it is better for me to die than to live. Do you understand why Jonah's mad? Do you understand why Jonah's mad? Why is the prophet mad, people? Why am I mad? St what do they call it? You're st I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. The rock is the Lord and the hard place is here. It's not a comfortable position. So please, have some grace on me and some mercy. It's been a long, cold winter here, people. Lovely people of the Most High. If you understand that and you can love me, even though I'm ornery and mean and crude and profane and believe me that's not the worst part of me that we've been trained to hate um, strong emotion we've been we've been taught to become robot robotons the whole system does not allow you to voice your concerns or listen to, what would you say, the deeper mystery of what's going on with you and your God. It's like, are you all right, brother? People should be more willing to say, are you all right, brother? You seem to be losing your marbles. Is there anything I can help you with? I don't understand. Expl can you explain it to me? No. As soon as you go, I got, I got fucked up. I got, I need some help. They're like, whoa, put that guy in a straight jacket. Get him in the, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't care that you're having a, <laughs> having a fit, right? Let's go into this some more. Um, it'd be better. Why don't you just take my life? It'd be better if I was dead than alive. That's the way the prophet feels a lot of the time. Can I just get the fuck out of here? I hate it here, right? Therefore now, Lord, take, I beseech thee, my life from me, for it is better for me to die than live. Then said the Lord, doest thou well to be angry, Jonah? So Jonah went out of the city and sat on the east side of the city, and he made himself a little booth and sat under the shadow of it, Till he might see what would become of the city. See, we're part of the 
we're part of the power. We, we, we're involved. We're a player. But it's all up to the Lord. So what do you do? He's like, this sucks. I'm just going to go sit down, find myself some shade, grab me a cold one. I don't have any power. I'm just, I'm just the guy that gets fucked. <laughs> That's what he's saying. I'm just, I'm just puppet. I'm your puppet. So sorry I'm getting upset. I'm, this is, when I talk about it, it's, it's what it is. Um, <laughs> and then he said it again. And it came to pass when the sun arose, God prepared a vehement east wind. That's what we have right now. We have Santa Ana winds. They call them devil winds. He, a ve ve vehement. He prepared a vehement east wind. What do you think vehement means? Fucking relentless and destructive. And the sun beat upon the head of Jonah and he fainted. He had a seizure. He locked up. He flipped out. He couldn't take it. Heat stroke, dehydration. And the sun beat down upon the head of Jonah and he fainted. And wished in himself to die. And said, it is better for me to die than to live. Um... Hope you understand what's going on here. And God said to Jonah, Is it good for you to be so mad, Jonah? About that gourd? So the Lord's saying, I, I gave you the gourd. Why are you so mad? I gave it to you. I took it away. I bless you. I curse you. That's what people don't understand. Am I blessed or am I cursed? Both and more. You can't even, those words don't even, doesn't have the design that, that you would, that it, the words say. And he said, I do well to be angry even unto death, God. Fucking pissed to the end, bro. So in the New Testament, the Pharisees ask about, give us a sign. Give us a sign so we'll know when, when you're going to come back. What's the sign? What can we look for? And he said, the only sign you're going to have is the sign of Jonah the prophet. Why did, why did the Lord tell him that? Because if you're paying attention, if you're watching, Tony, watching, it doesn't mean repenting and watch out for your sins and whatever crazy Christian marble brain bullshit that's rolling around in your knuckle-headed skull. The sign of Jonah the prophet is that if you were paying attention, you'd know that the men that are going to be speaking at the end are going to be cussing, mad, pissed off, angry, on to death, motherfuckers. Sorry. I'm proving it right now. <laughs> That's why he said that. What's that? What's the sign? What, do, what can we look for? How are we going to tell? There's only going to be one sign when you see a bunch of pissed off Israelites out here, like Jonah, not sure whether they're coming or going, sailing all around, getting thrown off and dying, living, dying, living, dying. When he got in the whale, he didn't get in a whale. He went back to the Heavenly Father and he had to get straightened up. And then the Lord 
The whale wasn't a whale, people. It wasn't a fish. The great fish is <laughs> the Lord. That's, come on, man. Come on, sir. And when he spit him out on dry land, that means he came back in the matrix, in the womb. And that's when he's like, fuck, I'm here, back here again. I better just do what he said. Pissed. Keep coming back here. Do you guys understand? I hope so. Then said the Lord, Thou hast had pity on the gourd, for the which thou hast not labored. That's why I was saying, we're here to, to talk about it, but we have no say in it. The only say we have is whether you hear it or not. That's the bummer part. It's like, oh, great. So my job is to get people to listen, but no one will listen. Cool. Right on. It's the only power we have. Screaming. We have a lot of anger. Sadness. Um... That gourd, you didn't do nothing for that gourd. You had nothing to do with it. I gave it to you. I took it away. What are you going to say about it, Jonah, you bitch? Neither made us stick grow, which came up in a night and perished in a night. I'm like the gourd. The prophet is like Jonah. He is like the gourd. We come up, we give you a little shade. And then we're, we're taken out. And then we come back, we give you a little shade, and we're taken out. That's what this is referring to. It comes up in a day and goes dead in the night. Your life is like a vapor. Boom, boom, boom. It's like a dream. It seems like the day lasts forever, but... <laughs> 80 years is not shit. Um, and should I not spare Nineveh, that great city wherein there are more than six score thousand persons that can't even discern between their right hand and their left hand and also much cattle? Jonah, what about, where's your mercy, Jonah? These people don't know their ass from a hole in the ground, bro. Be glad that you're able to tell them. Me and you work together. We saved them. They heard you, bro. What are you mad about? Ugh. <sighs>